he, he sees the best in everybody. I think that's all. Uh, that's something like everybody can learn from him, and you know I learned from him. But he's just he's all love, man. I never want that to change about him, and uh, yeah, he's he's all love, man. And who's number 10? Megan. Michael. Who is number 3? Jay. Who is number 0? No. Just run up there and shoot. Like, do it right. Oh. Um, well, he absolutely loves playing basketball. Yeah, he's not doing something you can do around the house. We definitely use basketball. I hear mom saying all the time, if you don't do it, you ain't going to the game. And he goes right, like he straightens up. What do you want to do when you grow up? Coach and daddy. The first thing I look for, I look up in the stands, man, and he is so excited and trying to get down to, you know, to be with his boys. He is so funny. He's a joy. He, um, he just has such um, a pure heart. So Kingston, at three years old, he was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. We were actually really confused at first because he's very personable. He always has been and he still is. Smiling, laughing, but he wasn't talking a lot and he did not start walking until he was about 19 months. Very, very late. We just started to notice, especially when we were around other friends, that he was definitely delayed from their children. So we took him, um, you know, started noticing some things. We actually drove him to Birmingham for two and a half years to get very, very intense therapy and um, just to try and prepare him for when he was re ready to go to school. I never knew if Kingston would be able to read or write or do math and just literally two days ago his teacher sent me a picture of him and he was reading for his class. I, like he's perfect man he's I teach him things but he teaches me things all the time he teaches me how people should be treated how to find the good in everybody teaching me how to love um, I always say like hate is taught you know I see him with his friends I see him with people his age and they he love them like you have to talk you have to teach hate and I never want to him to be taught that. I always want him to love and have that, that spirit. I think he can accomplish anything. So to see what he goes through and to see like how he keeps going and how it doesn't affect him and how he like, he's never like wavered on, on being who he is. Uh, it just, it motivates me. My number one priority all the time is to protect my child. And I think the biggest thing is I didn't want people to look at him any differently. I just wanted people to love him and see him for who he is. You just teach him how to how to do things, how to be respectful, how to, you know, how to go about his life and, and, and just be a great, great man. So he changed me completely for the better, man. I just I think he's perfect. I wouldn't I'm, like he's perfect, man. Why we do this? Why we lacing it off? You can look right over there, that's your wire right over there, man. Like I say, he teaches me as much as I've ever taught him. Oh, yeah. Because you worry, you know, how people treat him when you're not there, you know, like uh, how people treat him at school and, you know, just for these guys who are you know, just the greatest, like the coolest dude, the people, the, the, the people that everybody see on TV and for them to embrace him and love on him and make his day, man, that just, that lets you know the kind of kids we have in the program and the kind of people we have in the program. We spend all this time with him, teaching him, but we need to be teaching others how to interact with people with special needs. Um, because a lot of kids do not know, a lot of even adults, they don't know. But these kids, these young men that are the coolest on the block, Nobody had to teach them. You know, they, they treat treat people well, man. And that's just a, a testament to the character of the guys we have here, man. And uh, it means everything to me. Nobody had to say anything to them on how to 
love Kingston. It came natural. And I know it means everything to him because he talks about them all the time. And like it's just, you come in the house and he's talking about this player, that player, Keon Dunk, Jawan Block, you know what I mean? Like it's just, he loves them, man, and they, and they love him back. The love that these guys have for him, I mean, it has literally given us strength um, as being a part of this program. Me just seeing that, I remember after the uh, SEC tournament, her coming over, Shaq coming over to the fence. The first person they come over and talk to is Kingston. It just melts in my heart because, I mean, that's Herb Jones, you know, <laughs> that's, that's Jaden Shackford, you know. But they found the, the moment, in their moment, to come over and love him. John Petty, all of them. You see on social media sometimes, people can be really cruel. Cool. If we lose a game or if someone has a bad game, but they don't see the other side of these guys that are really good at heart in their nature. There's something like everybody can learn from him, and you know, I learned from him, but he just, he's all love, man. And he's, he's the best in everybody, and I never want that to change about him, and uh, I think they've been a blessing. You know, it's just been a blessing because he, yeah, he's, he's all love, man. Yeah.